Okay, so please ignore my chipping nails, but here we have all of my lip glosses, and there's a problem. I'm not 12. I don't need this many lip gloss. Not that anybody needs this much makeup in general. But I literally almost never use lip gloss, so I just went through and tried a whole bunch of different things on so I know what I'm keeping, what I'm getting rid of. That way I don't have to swatch a bunch of sticky things on my hand and I know what they look like. So let's go ahead and get started. They're separated by color, so we're just going to start with the bigger one, which is purple tones, because I love me everything purple toned. Just get right into it. Ones I know I'm keeping is I have a few different MAC ones. They're fairly new. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and try to get the most use out of these. They're not my favorite glosses, but like I said, they're fairly new. I do like the colors. They're not terrible, and yeah. So here's a couple matte cream shoes I'm going to keep. I do really like the NYX Butter Glosses and Intense Butter Glosses, so I'm keeping all of these as well. That's a really pretty one in Raspberry Tart. Alright, what else do we have here? I'm going to keep both of these Wet n Wild Color Icon Limited Edition colors because they're really pigmented and they're not too sticky, so I'm keeping those. I'm looking for things that are really not sticky and lots of pigmentation. I'm going to definitely get rid of this really old Milani 3D Glitzy Gloss in Fashion Diva. I think this is probably expired and old, and I definitely don't wear it. Do you want me to zoom in a little bit? Is that better? Yeah. This is going to be trashed. This J-Cat Wonder Lip Paint in Red Poison is just a very weird consistency. I'm not excited about it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. I'm throwing that away, by the way. Most lip products... I'm probably going to throw them away because they're just older and I've used them and it's gross so I don't really don't want to pass them on to anyone. Also going to get rid of this Milani Lip Intense Liquid Color in Violet Addict. It's actually a bright pink shade. It's not even a purple. This also smells a little funky and it's old and I would literally never use it. Um, it's not bad though. If it wasn't old I might have hung on to it for a little bit but I, like I said I don't reach for it and it's old so it needs to go. This I actually really do like. This was something I forgot that I liked so much. The LA, LA Girl Glazed Lip Paint. And this one is in Koi. And these are like a little plumping and minty. And it's just a really nice consistency. So I'm going to keep this. This is another MAC lip gloss that I literally bought for the packaging. Which is stupid. But I have it. So I'm going to try to use it up. At least somewhat. It's from the Trolls Collection. It's called Glitter Grunge. But isn't it cute? That's a dumb reason to buy stuff, but I do it anyways. I'm going to keep this Wet n Wild Metallic Liquid Lipstick. It's not actually a liquid lipstick, it's just basically a gloss. It's called Indigo Your Own Way, but it's really pretty on the lips, so I'm going to keep that. I'm also keeping this Rimmel Provocalypse in Kiss Fatal. I have never used this. I bought this a little while back, and I've heard amazing things about it. Staying powder. Staying powder! But I have never tried it, which is stupid, so I need to try this out and see why I like it. And if I don't like it, I'll throw it away, because like I said, had it for a minute. This is kind of a stupid thing to keep, but the Kip Lip Glace in Deep Purple. I got this at the beauty supply store. I really liked the packaging, which is why I bought it. But it's a crazy pigmented... Um, not sticky kind of gloss and it is lighter than this wet n wild one so that's why I'm keeping it like I said I really like purples this guy I'm gonna keep because this is the Milani Hope Flash it's a really pretty like metallic color wait hold on let's compare this to the wet n wild one real quick I think they're very different but Oh yeah, that's they're really different colors. So that's fine that I'm keeping both those. I'm sorry if you can hear the air conditioner outside. But this one I think I'm going to get rid of. Yeah. These are the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Glosses. I have quite a few of them. I'm probably going to be ready, getting rid of all of them because they're kind of old. But they're really nice lip glosses if you're looking for a good drugstore lip gloss. These are nice. And this one is in the shade Fuchsia, Fuchsia Finery. But like I said, it's old. I don't think it has as much color as it used to, so I'm just going to throw this away. 
So, so far so good, y'all. I mean, that's not amazing, but it's better. And these are less glossy consistencies than you would think. Let's go with that. Okay, now we have kind of corals and oranges. I'm sorry, this video looks like shadowy for some reason, even though I have these lights on. It's kind of weird. Okay, so you've probably seen this in many a declutter videos. It is a very old MAC lip glass from the very old Liberty of London collection, and I'm finally going to back to MAC it because it's all chipped and I'm just like, it's getting really, really gross. Like I said, I haven't used it in a really long time. I was just keeping it for the packaging, but I'm finally going to back to MAC this, which basically means it's getting thrown away, finally. But it was so pretty, look at this. Let's just document it real quick, shall we? There's a little bird and little flowers all over it. How cute is that? And this shade was called Perennial High Style. Throwback. Also gonna get rid of this other Milani Lip Intense Liquid Color. This one doesn't smell weird, but like I said, I don't reach for it, so we're just gonna throw it out. And this one's in Fiery Coral. I am gonna keep this Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Gloss because it's just a light minty gloss and I do um, kinda like it. I like the mintiness, so we're gonna keep that one. Let's see. This was weird. I tried it once and I hated it. It's the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Lip Oil in Pure Peach. And it's so cute. It's got like a little peach on it, but it's just the weirdest, thinnest, oiliest consistency. I hate it. It's gotta go. I'm also gonna get rid of this model's Co. Lip Lacquer in the color Socialite because just look at this thing. Like, there's strings. It's so sticky, I don't even want to try it. So I'm going to get rid of this. I actually might pass these on since I used this one, like, once. And this one hasn't been used. If I have a friend who doesn't mind, which I actually have a lot of friends who don't mind using my stuff, if they want to try them, they can. I have an next Butter Gloss in Apple Strudel. Like I said, I love these, so I'm going to keep that. I'm going to get rid of another Revlon Super Lustrous Gloss. This one's in Kiss Me Coral. Like I said, they're old and they've been sheared out and they just need to go. This is a CoverGirl lip gloss. I'm not exactly sure the exact kind, but the color is, oh, they're the Colorlicious color -licious Gloss in 640 Juicy Fruit. I got this in a box. I'm just not crazy about it and I wore it maybe once, so we'll pass that along as well. But I am going to keep my Maybelline Color Elixir. What is it? It's kind of like a liquid lipstick without being a dry down liquid lipstick. I don't know. It's called Breathtaking Apricot and I'm going to keep it simply because I want to at least get some more use out of it. Um, but by next declutter I should probably throw it out because it'll probably be too old by then. So doing good. On to the pink shades. I have three matte glosses. I'm going to keep all these. A cream sheen, a Luster Glass, and the Miley Cyrus Lip Glass, so I'm keeping all of those. I'm also keeping this OCC Stained Gloss. I really like this product. I keep it in its little pouch with its brush, so I'm going to hold on to that guy. I have a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I've only used this a couple times. I want to try them some more because I didn't hate it, so I'm going to hang on to this for at least a little bit. This one's in Istanbul. And I do really like these random Milani glosses. It just says MLG Lip Gloss. I got these at Dollar Tree. I also have a red shade. They don't have a name or a color or anything, but I do really like these, so I'm going to hang on to it. It's a decent gloss when you're looking for just a little something. I like it. Um, I'm also going to keep this City Color Creamy Lip Stain. What shade is this? Flirtini. This doesn't quite dry down to a matte liquid lipstick, but it is a really nice matte, creamy lip color, so I'm going to hang on to it. But these three I'm getting rid of. I used to really like the Rimmel Show Off lip lacquers, but maybe it's just old, maybe I just don't like it anymore, I don't know, but the consistency is kind of weird, it doesn't look right on me, so this one in Nova is gotta go. Another 3D Glitzy Gloss from Milani that needs to go, I don't know, it just says number 40, so throwing it out. And then this, this is a Mally lip gloss. Um, what is this called? Starburst. I should have passed this on when I originally got it at BeautyCon, but I didn't, so now it just needs to be thrown out because it's boring and I don't need it. Better. Getting better. 
Now we have red colors and some potted products. These, if you've been watching my videos for a long time and you watch my vlogs, you remember when I put these Urban Decay lip gloss samples in here in a vlog literally two and a half years ago and I haven't touched them since. I don't know what's wrong with me. It literally has the date and it says July 2015. I remember when I did this because not only was I vlogging it, but I lived with my ex, which was so long ago. So these are definitely getting thrown away. I'm also going to throw out this e.l.f. lip balm tint. This is just old and I don't ever reach for it. Um, it's in grapefruit, but it's old, so I don't want to pass it on to anyone, even though it's just never been used. I feel bad, but at the same time, I don't want anybody to use it, you know? This is a MAC Tender Tone. I've had this literally forever. I don't use it because it's old and it kind of scares me, but I don't want to get rid of it. I just like it there. So it's one of those stupid things I'm just going to keep because I do stuff like that. Like this! This MAC Lip Glass, which is in my original makeup collection and storage video from over six years ago, I'm keeping it because of the packaging. It's 101 Dalmatians. Look how cute this is. Look at it! Like, they're so cute, and the lip gloss itself doesn't look disgusting, and the packaging hasn't chipped off or anything, so I'm going to hang on to it for now because I just can't stand to back to Mac it, but like I said, I haven't used it in a really long time. It's called Wicked Ways. It's so cute! I'm a little bit of a hoarder. I'm sorry. I'm also going to keep this other random Milani gloss, just like that other pink one from Dollar Tree because I do like the consistency. And I'm going to keep this Elizabeth Mott Color is Bay Lip Lacquer and Red Chili because it's actually really nice and bright. It might actually be a liquid lipstick. I need to see how it dries down or not, but it's really pigmented, so I actually want to play around with this. It's very pretty. But here's another Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss. This one is from an old collection they had when one of the Spider-Man movies came out. That's why it has this cool web design on it. It's so cute. I love Spider-Man, so I'm sad to see this go, but it's just not as exciting as it is in the tube, and it's old. It needs to go, so I'm throwing this out. This is called Killer Watt. Last bucket is kind of nude and neutral colors. I'm going to keep my other LA Girl Glaze lip paint. This one is blushing. It's a little brighter than it actually looks, but it's really pretty, and I like the mintiness of it, so I'm going to keep this one. Also keeping my Butter Gloss from NYX and Crème Brûlée and my Intense Butter Gloss and Tres, Tres Leches. I love this. I mean, I love them both, but these are awesome, so I'm keeping those. Here's a MAC Dazzle Glass, the only sparkly thing I really have lip gloss-wise now. And it's called Like Magic, and there's a hair stuck to it. That's so gross. But it's sparkly and pretty, and it's MAC, so like I said, I'm going to hang on to that. This is a little baby Benefit Hula lip gloss. I actually think I'm going to hang on to it and try to get some use out of it because it's cute and it's actually not a horrible lip gloss. But all the rest of these are being thrown away, which is very good of me. So this is a Be A Bombshell Secret Pout Potion lip gloss and oh wait, no. Pout Potion lip gloss in secret. It's just sticky and weird and the color's weird on me and I just don't like it. So... Um, this also might be a little bit old, I'm not exactly sure, but I'm just gonna throw it away because I don't think any of my friends would want this. Anyways, this guy, this is sad, this is a really old, it needs to be thrown out. It's the e.l.f. Luscious Liquid Lipstick in the color Bark. It's not really a liquid lipstick like they are now, but I do really like this product, so I would definitely pick it up again. It's only like a dollar or two, but this one is so old, it needs to be thrown out. But if you see these, they're really nice. They're just like creamy lip colors. This one I'm going to pass along to someone because I don't even think I wore it even once. I might have tried it on. It's a Revlon Color Burst Lip Gloss in Sun Baked Beignets. Again, I think this was in a subscription box, just not my thing. <laughs> okay, this is a Too Faced Lip Injection Glossy in the color Milkshake. My friend gave me this to try. She said it burned her lips, and so now I'm way too scared to try it myself, so I'm just going to throw this away because this heathen needs to die <laughs> because I've heard really bad things about these glosses anyways that they burn, so no thank you. 
another Revlon Super Lustrous. This used to be my favorite. This is called Super Natural. It's a really pretty kind of neutral color. I'd highly recommend it, but again, old needs to be thrown out. And the last one here is a Kaylin Art Touch Tinted Lip Gloss. This wasn't bad. Um, I've used it a few times, but it's just not my cup of tea anymore. The color is a little weird on me, and it might be a little bit old. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw this out. Okay, so here's what I'm keeping. It actually looks a lot better than it did. I'm going to organize them and shrink everything down more now, which is very exciting. Like... These guys can share a bucket, and these ones can go in here. It's just better. Look at that. Yay! Very excited. It's still too many glosses, but they're not all full gloss consistency. Some of them are more like creamy lip colors. I don't know. All right, so here is the end result. I am throwing out 19 glosses. I am very very proud of myself for this and I'm going to be passing along four so overall 23 cleared out I'm very proud of myself yay you know what y'all I'm gonna pass on this J cat um, wonder lip paint see if any of my friends want it since it's pretty dang sanitary and I don't really think it's too old not that it's even been been open that much um, but I'm gonna pass this along so I'm throwing out 18 and passing along five I just didn't want to waste if somebody wants to try it. Okay, these are all of my liquid lipsticks, I think. I've already gone through and tried some on I was skeptical about, so hopefully I can be able to get through this fairly quickly. To start off, I am definitely, definitely keeping my Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Lipstick from the Mermaid Collection and Siren's Jewel. This is so beautiful. I love this. I keep this in my purse. It's actually a really nice consistency too, like the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit liquid lips are so nice. So I'm lo loving this lately, I'm definitely keeping that. Just wanted to point it out, if you can find the Mermaid Collection still, definitely pick some up. I'm also keeping these other two Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit lip colors, the black one and this one is Nude Peach. I have, this was before they became the liquid catsuit lip colors, this is the matte liquid lipstick and 2-2 lip to quit. They changed the formula because I remember this being really, really thick and drying. I'm going to give it one more shot and if I don't like it then I will pass it on and see if any of my friends want to try it, but I don't have high, high hopes for the old formula. I have some NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipsticks here that came in this set. I'm only going to be passing on this one in the shade Respect the Pink. It is just way too bright and weird for my skin tone and my hair color and everything, so I'm going to pass this one along, but I am going to keep these other two shades in Sway and Subverse Socialite. I have a couple LA Colors Pout Lip Gloss Mattes, which are basically matte liquid lipsticks from Dollar Tree, and they're actually pretty nice for a dollar. So I'm going to keep both of these. This one is Let's Kiss, and the darker one is Kiss and Tell. Of course, I'm keeping my Jeffree Star Liquid Lips. Honestly, I think there are better liquid lips, but I do enjoy these, especially these colors. So if you're wondering, I have Doll Parts, Androgyny, and Sagittarius, and I do enjoy them. This is our Jordana a Limited Edition Black Pearl Metallic Liquid Lip, and I really like it. It's really pretty, especially over my black liquid, lip, liquid lipstick. It's so nice. So I'm definitely keeping this one. This one's new to my collection as well. I'm also definitely keeping my Stila Liquid Lip in Bocce. I love Stila's liquid lipsticks. They're so nice and pigmented, yet thin, and they're not drying. I love them. You need to try them, so I'm keeping that one. I'm going to get rid of this DLS matte, li matte lipstick in Phantom. My friend gave me this. I don't even know. I don't like it. It's weird and very dry, so I'm going to go ahead and pass it along. I'm keeping this Revlon Ultra HD matte lip color, even though it's not really a matte liquid lipstick. Wow, that got dinged up. Um, this is a really nice, very creamy lip color, so I really like it. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to go ahead and keep the Hard Candy Velvet Mousse Matte Lip Color and give it another try or two. I don't think this fully dried down like a liquid lipstick, but I want to give it another try. 
Um, also, a couple, I'm going to give this another try or two, the um, lip paint from Tattoo Junkie, but I think this is, might be an old formula, not sure. I'm going to try that one again. I do like this one, the Rimmel Show Off Lip Velvets, the matte ones. This one's in Meteoric Matte. It's really pretty. It's a nice consistency. I'm going to keep both of these little babies. This one's from The Balm and this one's from Tarte. I haven't tried this one yet because I just got it in my little birthday set, so I'm going to hang on to both of those. But this last one I am definitely getting rid of. This is one of the NYX Lingerie Lippies and this one is in the shade Dusk to Dawn, number 19, and it is a weird orangey nude shade and it's so does not work on my skin tone. I would totally be down to try some other shades from the line, but this one just looks terrible on me, so I'm going to pass it along. Okay, so I'm only passing along three and keeping all the rest, but I do really like my matte liquid lipsticks. They're obviously new and trendy, and I do really enjoy the formulas and having the ones that last all day and everything like that, so these I think are totally fine to keep, but I am at least passing on a few. Thank you.